Okay. Is this okay? Oh, well, that's loud. Is this okay? Great, great, great. Hi, I'm Delaney. I want to preface this by saying I'm not very funny, so I included some attempts at jokes, so just bear with me. You could laugh out of pity, too. A laugh count is a laugh count, as Malachi says. And another thing, by all means, I am no almighty and all-knowing human, so take the things I say with a grain of salt. But also, there's some good bits in here, so you might want to listen. High school hasn't been what I imagined. Did I imagine flying on a broomstick? No, and I never did. I only pretended to during winter term. Several of my fellow seniors are telling meaningful stories. My experience in high school hasn't exactly included such impactful stories that I would like to share. My so-called most meaningful ex educational experience in my life has, well, been an experience. How did I get here today? We'll start, we'll get to that later. Let me set the scene as any great thespian does. When I arrived at Brooks as a new sophomore from Texas, I was greeted by a mix of things. Students surveyed me strangely, like I was a lone longhorn in a herd of cows. They're different, down to their souls. Meet a cow and then a longhorn. You'll feel the difference. I am. I'm a longhorn in the vastness of herd of cows. Sure, we all moo. But as a longhorn, I have horns, and they tend to stick out in a crowd. But hey, I do have some amazing friends. It's been a running joke in my family that I do not have many friends, though. I'm an introvert, an isolationist, perhaps, so to say. But I'm that way for a reason. My friends are great, but I've had, had a few interactions with people in my time in schools that have shaped me due to their unkindness. Every time I put myself back there, out there, I'm pushed back in. Whether it be someone yelling at me for what I have or a glare for what I am wearing. Those moments stay with me. They shape me. In life, you are constantly talked down to by your peers, by your parents, even strangers. who don't even have the right, but you must try to keep moving onward. I like to believe those words and negative presences do not affect me in the long term. But I know they do, and that they always will. These events replay in my head involuntarily. Several encounters this year have left me so shattered that I cried for days on end. But it has been in this battle for myself that I found I must not yield, and I never will. Being a competitive person in boarding school environment can prove to be difficult, unless you're in sports. And while I have tried, I've seemed to be good at none of them. Seriously, freshman year in softball, I hit a ball and forgot to run. This occurred several times, even during games. Being competitive, while beneficial to one's overall learning, can be detrimental to one's social life. However, I have been ridiculed for being a naturally competitive person. I have come to a point through all this chaos one calls high school, I am left with the truest version of myself. If one does not become this person, you, are, you become a person you present to the public that you do not recognize. That is the worst outcome. I would rather be ridiculed for something that I am than praised for something that I am not. What am I then? Well, I'm still figuring it out, but I allow myself to be what I want and what I need to be. My motto or idea for life is to keep moving forward, or in a way, finding the light in the darkness. I have been known to say it's in the past as a way for coping, but I have moved past that. Sorry for the pun. I try to look forward to the future instead of looking back on what I could have done differently. I attempt to find things, a person, an event to keep me going through my days. In the past, for me, it has been a certain fantasy series or a period drama that can get me through a mere month. Yes, one of those had Ben Barnes. That guy from Narnia. It's the small things in life that you can look forward to to keep you going and offer that light in the darkness. And it can get pretty dark, so you'll need some light, even just to see your path. However, while trying to keep moving forward, others in life can bring you down, as I've mentioned previously. My advice for that is a little scattered. It depends on who you are. Your journey through the darkness can be completely different from mine. For me, I find it important to prioritize time with myself. I feel what I need to feel in my own time. I take a breath when I'm alone, I walk alone, I eat alone, and it's okay to do that. I see so many kids here afraid to acknowledge their true selves, as if they're afraid what they'll see in the mirror. Yeah, it's scary as hell, but it's all you got. So find your com that comfort in yourself. It's hard to find it, but once you do, you'll be the better for it. Another thing, talk to adults. I find my conversations with adults go deeper than majority of conversations with people my age. The teachers we have here, if you talk to them, will understand you. 
I trust a handful of teachers here with many of my secrets, and they'd never tell you what they were. Those secrets, well, let's just say they have to do with people. Not gossip or anything, just things people have said to me. Toxic people. I've had a lot of them in my life. Many of them I've loved, and it's devastating when they just leave, or when you know you have to leave them. People say we accept the love we think we deserve, and maybe that's true. These people that you love, they scream at you, they whisper to you, they twist your thoughts until you believe that you're the villain. I've seen villainy, and I'm not as bad as it gets. And if I'm your villain, to quote that Ben Barnes character, fine, make me your villain. While there are villains in our lives, there can also be heroes. People can be wonderful. While those awful interactions stick with me, there are also moments of great light from books that shine through. Harry Potter, y'all are a bright spot. I never expected to light that group, but I did. Every time I see the stage, no matter the configuration, I think, why is the stage set up like that? <laughs> My acting class, damn, what a sad, mad glad this is. I also find those small interactions to brighten my day and make Brooks seem better. Whether it's just seeing someone and saying hello, following something that's not, how are you? Our college counselors, they're bright sought. Juniors, get to know them. I've cried multiple times in those offices. It's a great place. And last, to my mad ones. Words cannot describe the feelings. I've been working on this show for a year. In the winter, I found my Adam, Bev, and Kelly, and it has been a journey. We have given up our weekends, and dare I say, our lives for this show. Half of us cry on stage, the other two, I know, y'all cry off stage. This 90 minutes show has filled our lives over the past four months, and while I would be relieved to have my Sundays free, I will miss the proposal. <laughs> when you come to see the show, you will understand that reference. I dare say it's one of the most entertaining songs in the entire show. Now I'm leaving Brooks, and I'm slightly relieved. Where Brooks has offered me freedom, it's also constrained me. But here's the thing. We shouldn't be feeling so restrained that we forget who we are, or we have to fight to not get lost. We shouldn't be glaring at students for being themselves or for yelling across a dining hall. It's life. Get over yourself. I see so many people here diluting themselves through their four years. It's been exhausting to go through, because once you reach that point, it's hard to go back. That's why I look up to so many people here, for standing their grounds and remaining themselves. There aren't many, but the ones that still burn, man, they shine bright, and it's beautiful. So keep your light on and burn some things down on the way out, brick by brick. Students, teachers, whomever, I know you're not gonna alter your life due to my words, or probably anyone's. I'm a stubborn person, so I get it. But if you can truly take away one thing, use this time wisely and use it for you. It feels long, and it is. Don't let anyone convince you otherwise. Moments can last a lifetime. Don't waste your breath on toxic people when you deserve worlds better. You can find and will find people who you love truly and unconditionally truly love you back. And Thursday night in the theater, come be mad.